Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be starting a new series on NBA 2K15. This is going to be a My GM. I'm going to be using the Miami Heat, and this is going to be life after LeBron. Uh, in this first episode, I'm going to take care of business, trade off Chris Bosh, because I don't want that big contract. I also bought Allen Iverson back to the NBA, put him on the Heat, he'll be our point guard. Uh, and we'll do a couple other trades in the opening thing here, but we're going to be the Miami Heat. Let's get into this, so... Is my user controlled team? This should be this should be a lot of fun. Uh, what I'm going to do is probably play uh, middle of the road amount of games uh, during the year, and then uh, play most of the playoffs and so the off season. But hey, hope all has been well with you. I'm very excited to have you on board. Uh, I'm a straight shooter, and we'll tell you like it is. Here's what I'm expecting from you. Uh, the maximum amount of losses that I'll accept is 22. I'm gonna say my, well. I'm going to say might accomplish because I'm going to trade Bosch. He's going off of Bosch, and I might trade Dang. Um, I'm surprised you don't see the potential here the way I do. Oh, well, you'll come around. Keep the chemistry above 57. I can accomplish that. That's pretty easy. I know we can do this. I'm glad you agree. I want to see us with home court advantage throughout the playoffs. I'll finish first in the conference. I'm going to say might accomplish. I bet something semi-valuable on that happening, meaning maybe we can do it. Do that and get results, and I'll be happy. Uh, you also will have the opportunity to set your budget each year. I can't set it for the first year. All right, so not, not, nothing too excited there. Is there anything else you'd like to review? Uh, I'm ready to start. Let's get this going. So I actually have the draft classes here. Uh, I've got 2015 and 2016, so I'm just going to use those for now. Uh, but now let's go and let's try to trade off uh, Chris Bosh here. Let's see what we can get for him. Hopefully some picks, because the, the Heat don't have any picks. Uh, Noah. Get Noah. Uh, DeAndre Jordan. Yeah, these are some pretty terrible trades. Roy Hibbert. Ryan Anderson. Ooh, Eric Bledsoe. Too bad I already have. Uh, what's his face? Uh, Helen Iverson. Hmm. I think I'm just going to trade for picks. I might trade, I think, let's see. Let me propose a trade. We'll look at picks here. Let's see who's got a lot of picks in the upcoming draft. Jazz have three, and it's not really that many. Uh, I know there's a team with a crap ton. Where are they? So the Rockets have a bunch of second round picks. They have four second round picks. Uh, here we go. The Suns have two first rounds. That's all right. That might be the best. I'm not seeing too much better. Here we go. The 70, No, the 76ers have two first rounds and three seconds. They have my pick. The Bulls have two first rounds. That's it. Uh, the Celtics have two first rounds. Let's send, let's send Chris Bosh to the 76ers here. Let's see if I can acquire some decent picks here. It's not as much as, not as much value as I would have liked. Let's see. Let's trade for, hmm. To get Nerland's Noel, Joel Embiid. Hmm. Let me take a look at the Celtics real quick. Let's look at the Celtics here. Oh, it's the other way. So Celtics. It's got the Celtics first pick. Get the Clippers. Get the 76ers. Let's see what players I could possibly get from them. Marcus Smart. I don't really need point guards, though. Uh, James Young. Probably just end up taking picks from them. Celtics next year, first round pick. Let's see here. First round of the Nets. Alright, so we'll do this trade here for... See, will they take it for dang's kind of low value? I bet they'll take. I don't know if they'll even take this for Bosch. Hmm. 
All right, this will get me some picks. Let me be able to rebuild the team the way I want and get rid of Bosch's gigantic contracts. So let's see here. Let's call up the Bo the Celtics GM. See if we can get a deal worked out here. Yes, I want to. I want to talk trades. Let's submit it. Oh, the Celtics would be over the cap limit. Twenty. <laughs> they are exactly at the cap limit. That's crazy. So I'm gonna have to trade Bosch. For someone with an already big contract. Alright. I'll get this. Let's see. Post trade. Let's find a player with a big contract that's one year. Um, could send Bosch back to Toronto. What are we looking at here? They have anybody with a big deal? Amir Johnson. Let's see here. Let's do Amir Johnson... Landry Fields has a big contract for one year, so let's throw those two in there. Now we'll throw Bosch in, see if we can take their first round pick and next year's first round pick. Oh, let's call them up. Let's call up the Raptors GM, see if we can get a deal worked out here. Then I might, cons I might look at offers for Amir Johnson and Landry Fields, just see what other people might be able to give me. And they're over by 1.27. Okay, so I'm going to remove... Uh, let me move Amir Johnson and see what else they've got. Got anybody else with a high one-year contract? No, not really. So let me send Amir Johnson... We take out the Raptors first round pick. And let's take I want a one year deal. Okay, I'll take Tyler Hand. Okay, let's call him up. Let's see if let's see what they think of this. The Heat would have too many players. Alright, so let me come down here. We'll throw in Tyler Johnson. Oh, Tyler Johnson's kind of valued. Let's see. How's Jeremy Grant valued? He's valued higher. Uh, so I'll throw in, will that be, I'd still have too many players, alright, let's throw in Jeremy Grant, you get, let me see what Ennis, what is Ennis's value, yeah, I'll throw in Ennis, so I'm practically giving them Bosch for not much, let's reevaluate this, I could take Valanchunas, He's on a two-year deal. They wouldn't have any use for him with Bosch. Wow, Valanchunas is highly valued, though. Holy crap. All right, so... Hmm. I guess I might be stuck with Chuck Hayes' crap. I don't want him. Could get Terrence Ross. Be a nice backup. Small forward. Let's see here. I'll take Ross. Okay, let's see. Let's see if they'll take this. That works. All right, I'll take that deal. Uh, unload some of the bottom. Get Amir Johnson, Landry Fields for one year, and Terrence Ross for uh, two. Get rid of Bosch. Get rid of that contract. Um, let me see. We gotta redo that. I'm just gonna let them do it here, and then once I get done trading, I will uh, rebuild it on my own. So let's go and now see what we can get for. Let's see. I think I might keep Amir Johnson because I really don't have a. I don't really know if I want to play Sean Williams. Let's see Landry Fields. What's he got? What kind of value does he bring? Danny Granger. I'm not trading my first. I'm not trading that pick. Could get Kyle Korver. Oh, here we go. I could get Steve Nash on a one year. Steve Nash is on a one year deal. All right, let's. Call the Lakers up, I think. Maybe. Hold on, let's look through this. See if, see what kind of value could David West, Joel Anthony. Wow, Boris Diaw is two years, 15 mil. All right, I'm going to call up the Lakers. Let's call them up here. Maybe I could trade Landry Fields for oh, may, maybe Nick Young. I don't know. I'd take Swaggy P off the bench. So let's edit this. I'm not too interested in either of these, but they are interested in Landry Fields. 
Uh, and in my GM, they really want to trade Nick Young. Uh, he's 4.9 against the salary. Kind of, what are we looking at? The Rockets pick isn't worth a whole lot. Next year's first round from the Nuggets is worth a ton. But let's offer, let's see, let's do this first and see, see what comes of this. We'll offer our 2018 picks. The Lakers would be our over the salary cap. So the Lakers would acquire 2.26 more than they are allowed. Let's see and look at maybe Wayne Ellington. Let's go Wayne Ellington, and then I'll add be Jeremy Grant. Let's see. We're looking at relatively even value there. Let's see. This offer isn't what they're looking for. Could pump up the pitch or bait and switch. I don't have enough VC. So let's edit the offer. Let's take out our second. Well, let's take out our first round. Leave the second and put in the 2017 first round pick. Yeah. All right, now let's see if they do it. This offer isn't what they're looking for, but we're getting close. 2018, let's go with the 2018 first round pick. See if they, that works for them. All right, there we go. So got Sw uh, Swaggy P and Wayne Ellington for Landry Fields, Jeremy Grant, and two picks. Also got the Rockets first round pick in this upcoming draft, so that's nice. Uh, always looking to acquire more draft picks, because I do like these first two uh, draft classes. They've got some players that I like, so um, I'm okay with that trade. So maybe we should look to move uh, Luol Deng, and then I can just start Terrence Ross. Uh, maybe move Luol Deng for some draft picks. See what kind of offers we get for him. Uh, not too interested in those. I did some of the trades off uh, camera just before I started this that I knew uh, the teams had, would make because I have another MyGM that I've been playing, so I know what uh, some of the trades that they make, so I just made the simple trade um, in the edit roster instead of having to do it now. Chandler Parsons. Hmm. Not really getting what I want. I don't want to trade any. Uh, could get Iggy. Might have to keep Oh, dang, because I'm not liking any of these offers. Jeff Green, DeMar Carroll, Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Michael Kidd Gilchrist wouldn't be awful. But I don't know, I'm not liking any of these. Chandler Parsons isn't bad, but I want to pay him 15 mil a year. I might just have to keep uh, Dang and let him walk at the end of the year. James Johnson... All right, so I think I'm going to keep Dang. See what value we might be able to get for uh, Wayne Ellington here. I don't want to trade that first round pick. Let's so get Mike Miller from the Cavs for Wayne Ellington and my second round draft pick in 2015. Jay Crowder, Austin Rivers, Gary Neal, Jason Smith. I could get Boozer. I could get Boozer for... My 2015 second round pick, but I get my 2017 first round pick back. Roy Devin Marble, Raymond Felton, Toledovic. All right, John Salmons on a one year deal, but I'd get the Pelicans second round draft pick. Let's check this out. Check this out because I don't need any shooting guards. Let's call up the Pelicans GM. Uh, and see what we can get done here. Maybe we can work out a deal, get some draft picks. Okay, so John Salmons. Let's see here. They don't have a pick in 2015. That's a little bothersome, but let's see. What players do they have that I could possibly want? Nate Wolters. Eh. Jimmer. I could get Jimmer. They don't really have that many players I'd want. I could take Withy. John Sammons is on a one-year deal, right? Where's... Can I see his contract? I can't see his contract, really? I have to re Oh, here we go. So it's a one-year, $2 million... Okay. It's $2 million... 
One year, two million for Wayne Ellington. Let's see if they'll take this for their next year's first round. Okay, so no. Try to let me try to raise the value here. Let's include my second round pick from 2018. Still not what they're looking for. Hmm. Let me see. What other picks could I get from them? Their 2016 second round pick. Okay, that'll work. Um, I think it's what they offered me to begin with. So, uh, not a terrible trade. I'll take it. Uh, I want to clean out most of the team here. So, uh, by the end of this year, because I don't really like the, I didn't like the contract situation with Chris Bosh. Pretty much the only reason I let him go. So let's see roster. Let's see anybody I want to get rid of. So we got AI Wade, Dang, Nick Young, Amir Johnson. These guys are all on one years, right? Other than Nick Young. Uh, Wade and Iverson, so Terrence Ross is on a two, Whiteside's on a one, Chris Anderson. Chris Anderson retired in every single one I've done so far, just practice my GMs and playing for fun. So I don't know if he'll retire after this year in this one, but I'm pretty sure he will. Burke's on a two, Norris Cole's on a one, Sean Williams is on a one, Sammons is one, Napier's two. Alright, so I think I might be able to roll with this team. I think I'd be happy with this team. Let's look at, uh, let me just do it this way so we can look at our picks. So in the 2015 drafts, I have the Rockets first and the Heats and my second. I'd like to acquire some more draft picks. Let's see if we can get that done here. The Hornets have some decent picks. The Jazz have their first round and the Cavs second. The Knicks have their just their first round pick. Wow, that pick is hot, valued high. So the Hornets, eh, it's not terrible. Value. The Jazz is... The Knicks is worth more than the Jazz. It's crazy. Kings don't have a pick. The Magic's pick. Alright, that's not bad for the Magic's pick. Let me see. Now let me get the Lakers second from them for this. Let's try it this way. Let's add a player now. What kind of value do they place on Salmons? Just a one star. I don't want players. Um, what kind of value do they place on Tark Black? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, how much? Okay, so they place a star and a half on Cole. The only reason I trade Cole is because he wants some decent amount of money at the end of this year. See here at the bottom, we get Roy Devin Marble. Willie Green's a one star, so. So not terrible. Let's see, let's kind of cancel out. And I think it'd make me take another one of their players. Well, we can always try. Let's call up the Orlando Magic GM, see if we can get a first round pick here. I really want to get another first round pick because there are two players in the upcoming draft that I want. Uh, Karis LeVert out of Michigan and Miles Turner out of uh, Texas. Those are two big ones I want. I think it's going to tell me, yeah, the Magic would have too many players. All right, so let's just, let's remove this and remove this. Let's offer this, just see. Okay, so they're not interested like at all. So let me throw in the Pelican second round pick from next year. They're still not very interested. All right, let me try to find Kylo Quinn's a two-star on a one-year deal. Well, Kylo Quinn's kind of decent on a one for that cheap. Tobias Harris could try this. Only Tobias Harris is worth more than dang. Let's see here, small Mo Harkless, Aaron Gordon. Harkless wouldn't be a terrible backup, but I have Terrence Ross. So let's do, so this is a team option for Ridenauer. And then maybe I could pick up another pick, maybe the Lakers second this year. And then maybe I could remove my pick. So I trade off Tark Black, Dang, Willie Gr for Willie Green and Luke Ridenauer, who are both one-year deals because I don't have to pick up Ridenauer's player option. I get the Magic's first-round pick and the Lakers' second. Let's try it. 
So they're interested now. So let me include my second from 2018. Okay, so I've gotten some decent interest here. Let's try the Pelican second round hmm. in 2016. I could just remove the Lakers second round and get this deal done. But I'm not sure if I want to do this. It would get ding kind of out. I'm going to do it, this deal right here. Oh, it's not what they're looking for. Really? Hmm. Let's add a pick then. Let's just add my 2018 pick. Huh. Still not what they're looking for. So what are they? <laughs> what are they looking for? What if I remove Tark Black... And who do I want more, Rindauer or Green? I think I want Green. So let's try this. Let's try this. I don't think... I don't get it. Like, I don't get why they are so annoying. Uh, simply business. I'm just going to do it that way. All right. This team said, Alzheimer says happy about rumor isn't happy. All right. I don't, like... I don't get why it's a problem if I trade for someone at his position. I'm just going to say, I'm going to tell him I got, a, I got his back. Right, so his morale is up to pretty high. And I think this is probably the team that I'm rolling with because I can't really find any trades. So currently I'm just sitting with two draft picks, which isn't, I'm not too happy about that, but there's not much I can do. Um, people don't seem to be interested in a lot of my players, so I'm kind of... I'm kind of stuck. Let me see if I can maybe get something for Napier. Uh, since I traded for Burke, Napier, I don't really need him. So I might be able to get this deal done right here. The Hornets first and the Hornets second for Napier and my 2015 se or 2018 second. I'd do this. I don't need Napier. Uh, didn't the Hornets draft? The <laughs> Hornets drafted him originally, didn't they? So let's see if we can get this done. Oh, I put the Hornets over the limit. I just want a crappy player down here at the bottom. Pargo. Gennaro Pargo. So they're interested, but just not enough interest. So let me add a pick. Let me add the Pelicans. The Pelicans second from next year. And let's just try this. Hmm. All right, I'm going to hold on to these guys, uh, and then we'll try to do some of these trades a little bit later, I think. Uh, so let me set up uh, the lineup here and how we're going to do this. So I'm going to give I'm gonna give Wade and Iverson 36, give Dang 28. I want Hassan Whiteside, not Chris Anderson starting. But I'm going to play Anderson, bring Anderson's minutes down to 20. Let's set Terrence Ross at about 18. Wants me to give, wants me to start Chris Anderson. I don't really want to start him, so I don't want Nick Young in the reserves. Let's see here. Who can be? Who's reserve material? Yeah, I think that's good. Let me move Nick Young up because I don't want North Cole. I don't really want North Cole as a starter. Like a, no, not as a starter, as a second point guard. I want Trey Burke to come in. Let's give some minutes to Swaggy P. Wow, they want me to give a crap ton of minutes to Nick Young. I like to spread my minutes around, game. So I think I like this for now. Let me give a few minutes to Sean Williams. Give a couple to Yadonis. I don't really think I need Tart Black in at the moment think, hmm, I've got two point guards and a shooting guard to back up. I have a sm one small forward. I have three power forwards, but they're all kind of down at the bottom and kind of with split minutes. So I think I'm going to do it like this. Uh, Sean Williams will get the bulk at four. Uh, Yadonis will get two, and Tark Black will come in for one. Uh, just kind of a quick breather minute. I'm going to take a minute away from Chris Anderson. I think I'm going to give it to Yadonis. Then... Let me take one minute from Nick Young, and I'll give it to Tark Black so he plays more than one minute. So 
I think I'm happy with this. Uh, see how it goes. We're going to be playing the first game, so I don't really have to worry about that. But I'm pretty happy with this uh, lineup so far. Uh, Nick Young, I'm happy to get him. One of my favorite players in uh, NBA, obviously behind my boy uh, Dwayne Wade. So this should be fun. Uh, this team isn't like the greatest team. It's got two superstars in Iverson and Wade and then uh, kind of two lower guys in Nick Young and Luol Deng. Uh, most of these guys are on expiring contracts, most of them being on my team. Uh, Iverson, Wade, and Nick Young are pretty much the only ones signed for a decent amount of time. Because uh, I came in here and I tried to figure out how to extend their contracts. I did pretty good. I found some that they agree on. Wade wanted way too much after a few years. And uh, so I just kind of edited Iverson and Wade's in so that they could be a part of the series. So that's going to do it for this, guys, I think. Let's go look at the power rankings wherever those are, power rankings, so where are we, we are all the way down at 15th, all right, the Jazz are, look at, th these power rankings are, are ridiculous, all right, GM power rankings, I'm first, I don't know how I'm first, but I'm first, uh, let's see, pricing, I want to sell out, so we're going to bump these down actually a little bit to there, Bump both of them down because I need to sell. Once I start selling out, I can then bump the prices up. Uh, when I'm selling the merchandise, it's a mix. It really is a mix because I want fans to come, but I do want to make money. I do want to make profit. But currently, let's see if the saving thing would get off. How much profit are we making? We're only making a mil, so it's a bit rough. Let's see, goals. How much is it to purchase a team? 50,000 50, VC? I don't know, depending on how well this series goes, I might actually uh, do that. Uh, front office, let's see, anything. Let's see, player contracts. You can see the player contracts here. Wade's is a decreasing to 2020. Uh, you can see Dang's. Iverson's at about 9.5, and, and it goes up till 2018, 2017, 2018, uh, which is exactly how long Nick Young's last and Shabazz Napier's. Uh, but I'm going to look to get rid of Napier, maybe. Because uh, I got some ideas. Terrence Ross is a two-year. Haslam's is a two-year. Anderson is a two-year, and it's kind of expensive, but his expires uh, eventually here. So I'm minus 4.70 mil salary cap-wise, but uh, as Wade's contract kind of declines, uh, Iverson's will kind of increase a little bit. Uh, Dang, is that a team or a player option? I'm not sure, uh, but that's not a big deal. Let's take a look at the mock draft, see who we're getting. So, Emmanuel Moutier is going 1, Jaleel Okafor 2, Carl Anthony Towns 3, Stanley Johnson 4, Cliff Alexander 5, D'Angelo Russell 6, Frank Kaminsky, Montrez, there's my guy Miles Turner going going ninth to the Cavs. The Cavs, there's no way the Cavs get that pick. Justice Winslow going 10th, I get 11th, uh, Kelly Oubre, Willie Cauley-Stein, Tyus Jones, Chris McCullough, Chris Stapps, Porzingis, Kevin Looney, Andrew Harrison. So Lavert is going 19th to the Raptors. Where's that? I don't pick. Whose pick did I trade for? The Magic? No. Whose first round pick do I have? Let's see. Whose first round pick do I have? I have the Rockets first round pick. So why is it not showing me? the Rockets pick so the Rockets pick 10th currently they're not going to pick that low but that's not bad unless that's not the no I have the Rockets original pick where is that so currently I'm drafting 25th oh I traded with the Lakers to get that all right yeah I don't remember uh, but I'm not taking Rashad Vaughn so that's just not happening hopefully the Rockets get injured and they just lose all sense of crap and they just lose a whole crap ton of games because that'd be really nice uh the big boards uh you can see pretty much all the players uh this is a really well done one and he did uh pretty much everything so i'm pretty happy with uh this dude's kind of like set up and his whatnot uh training schedule this is weird i hate the training crap because all right if you come over here and i put it on high people like two guys will complain that there's too much practice is too hard and two guys will complain that it's not hard enough like i don't get that and so i'm just gonna leave it at medium for now until they tell me to do it. otherwise team development business jersey sales there hasn't been a game so i can't even look at that yet uh statistics 
options. All right. Uh, so that's going to do it for the first episode, guys. Next episode, we'll get into this. We'll play our first game against the Washington Wizards. Uh, John Wall and Bradley Beal, so that should be fun. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop it a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, let me know if you guys think this is a good series idea or not. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.